Hello and welcome to this jewelry making video. In this video I will show you how to create a necklace using these sand beads. Um, I will use three different colors. Beside the beads I will also need some thread and some findings. Uh, one of the findings is, of course, the lobster claw clasp that will help me open and close the necklace. I will also need some bead ends, so these bead ends. I hope they are visible. And a jump ring. So I'll put the magnet away with the metal part. And now let's talk about the tools for the thread. I will use a pair of scissors. For the small items, some pincers. And for the jump ring. I will use a jump ring opener and a pair of pliers, chain nose pliers, the ones with no teeth here. So they have no teeth, they are flat here, so that they do not scratch the findings, the metal findings. And I will also need a big eye beading needle, this needle here, for the thread. And now let's get ready to start making the necklace. I will also need some uh, very small sand beads. So for the necklace I also need these very tiny sand beads so that I can attach the thread to the bead ends, to my bead ends. Let's begin by taking one of those small sand beads, so this is the smallest type of sand beads that I have. Uh, I chose them so small uh, in order uh, for them to fit into the bead end. Now I will take the thread, so as you can see the thread is put in two like this. So I have two threads like this superposed so that the necklace is more uh, resistant. So I will take one of those threads and put Let's see from a closer distance. I'll take the thread and I will put the bead on the thread. So I put the small bead, sand bead, on my thread and I bring it at the end of the thread like this, here. I will take the scissors and cut these ends so that they do not come out of my bead end. And now I will put my two threads 
on the big eye beading needle. Let's see from a bit of a distance what I am doing here. So I take the big eye beading needle, as you can see it has this, this space here, where I will put the thread, like this. So this is where the bead uh, is at the end of my thread and this is the needle. And now I will take one of the two bead ends, as you can see the bead end is open like this and it has here a small orifice like this. Now I will take the needle and put the needle through this orifice here at the end like this. And put the thread through my bead end like this and as you can see the bead has stopped inside of the bead end like this and the thread doesn't come out anymore because the small sand bead is inside here and the next step is to take the pliers and close our bead end like this. So let's close the bead end like this. So I have closed the bead end and I have this space here. I have these two rings here that are superposed. And now I will take a jump ring and open it using the pliers and the jump ring opener. So let's open the jump ring like this. As you can see, the jump ring has opened and I will put the bead end through the jump ring like this so this way I have put the bead end through the jump ring and now I will take the lobster claw clasp and put it on the jump ring. So like this, I put the lobster claw clasp through the jump ring. attach the lobster claw glass to the jump ring and now with the pliers I grab the jump ring and with the jump ring opener I will close the jump ring like this so. now I have attached the lobster claw clasp to the end of my necklace. And now let's start putting the beads on my necklace. Let's see from a distance like this. Let's begin by putting some of these beads into a tray
Now I have put the beads on my tray and we can start adding the beads. So I will take some of those beads and put them on my needle. So I put the beads on the needle like this. And now let's add another type of... Uh, another color of beads. So let's take a golden bead. And then I will put a few of the coral beads. And another golden bead. Like this. So I have added a few coral beads and two golden beads and I'll put them like this. So now that I have created this pattern I have to continue using the same pattern. Now we have the last bead that I'll put on the thread and with these beads I have finished the necklace and now let's close the necklace. In order to close the necklace I will take from the magnet I will take the bead end and a jump ring. I will put the needle through the bead end like this and this is where we have the bead end here. Now I will take the small sand bead and put it on the needle like this. I will remove the needle and now as you can see the bead is on both threads. Now I will remove one thread so that my bead stays on a single thread. I will push the bead so that it gets into the So as you can see the bead is now on only one thread and it has been pushed into the bead end here. And now I will use these two threads to make a knot above my sand bead. So I can make as many knots as I like because this way I will have the guarantee that the 
necklace does not open and also the knots will be camouflaged by the bead end so the knots will not be visible so the thread must not be too loose or too um, compressed so um, the beads if they are too compressed they will look uneven if they are too far away the thread will be visible like this so if you leave too much thread then the thread will become visible like this if you let too little thread the beads will push be, will be pushed one over the other and the necklace will look uneven so you have to choose uh, a middle uh, length so that the beads have a little space but not as much space as to show the thread so I will make one more knot here above the sand bead like this and now I can cut Now I can cut the thread, I will cut the thread above the bead like this and I have the bead inside the small sand bead inside the bead end here and now with the pliers I will close the bead end to cover the sand bead inside like this and now I have this bead end I will take one of those jump rings and I will open it using the jump ring opener and the pliers like this I will put the jump ring through the bead end like this and then I will close like this and now let's see from a distance so this is the bead end and the jump ring And now let's put the tools away and see how we can open and close the necklace. I will open the lobster claw clasp and put it through the jump ring like this. And this is the finished So this is the finished necklace. So, as you can see, you only need some beads, a few findings and some threads. And you can make a beautiful necklace like this. So thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video. And see you next time when I will show you how to make another jewelry item.